Hello everybody, Dickfig here and welcome back to some more of the Outer Worlds Perils on Gorgon. In my last episodes, I realized after recording 10 in a row-ish that I had some major issues with audio with my fan in the background. Apologize for that. And my button's undone. And uh, stuttering randomly through there. OBS dropping frames. I think I've rectified that problem as well. So hopefully things go smoothly. Um, do all the YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, comment, the bell notification, all that fun stuff. Watch it front to back. It's the number one thing you can do to help YouTube. And check out my Twitch stream. The OCI Carabelle Committee has hereby decided by a unanimous vote that the recent test results from Human Inquiry and Auditing HIA are unacceptable, unten untenable, and unsatisfactory. This message is an informal expression of our dissatisfaction, which will be formally declared by a memorandum in the near future. So they're just saying your test results are bullshit and uh the product's better than that and that's how it gets out like you can't just say the test results are bad if the test results are what they are well the committee recognizes the marketing potential of of insomnia and chemicals dependency the remaining side effect described in the hia's latest report are incompatible with the oci's vision of adrenal time products Corporation auditors will expect to see a product that dramatically improves the long-term productivity of Spacer's Choice workers by reducing the need for rest and mitigating the effects of long-term melanchalana. I don't know what that is. The product delivered to HIA includes psychosis, violent behavior, paranormal, and uh, alarmingly disobedience. The OCI cannot accept a product that transforms long-term users into dissidents and damage to our corporate image will irreparably benefit, inevitably re benefit our rivals at Auntie's Cleo's. True, they would. Um, unanimously, blah, blah, committee. On to the next one. To my colleagues in the OCI, Cerebral committee that that uh, it's too early for me to be waking up too big of words it's fine though we can do this I share your concerns but not your alarm in times like these I encourage you to recall a passage from our spacers choice users manual the failures of subordinates must never become the failures of leadership scum chapter 21 article blah 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 the meaning is simplicity itself. HI has failed to deliver acceptable results because they have failed to perform their professional obligations. My esteemed colleagues, you and I propose a number of law given qualifications, but we have not been regulated to lab coat work. Up and regula re regulated. Let me reiterate, we are not test tube jockeys, we are leaders. HIA propose is to deliver test results. Our purpose is to deliver a quality report. I'd like you to reach out to my strategic branding. Our team clean up HIA's report, trim that fat and tuck its guts, make it look presentable for auditors. So they get given a product. It has all these side effects. This is exactly what it does. It's killing people, screwing people up, making them bad. Instead of blaming the product, they're blaming the testers to just make good reports. It's like that's not how it works. It's kind of messed up. Either way, my team and I have finished reviewing HIA's latest experimental reports. We believe the failure of this report manifested in the flagrant disregard for company approved language. To that end, we have drafted a revised report edited with language consistent with Spacer's Choice Company vision. The HIA's re original report mentioned clear evidence of dangerous side effects associated with the using of Adrena Time Project, including but limited to paranormal, violent confusion, chemical dependence, and uh, dissident objective behavior. We propose the following <laughs> revisions. Dangerous side effects. Exciting certain Colla exciting collateral benefits what the fuck panera pandora wow paranoia it's not pandora dramatically heightened attention violent confusion physically assertive behavior chemical dependence metabolic compatibility dissonant judgment and many any mention of this dissonant behavior in my report may be encouraged 
distance recommend cutting this phrase entirely out of the respect of our readers. Ooh. That's one way to get a bad product on market. Holy shit. Okay then. Um, reminds me of a shirt I saw on a YouTube video lately where one of the people had a disorder. But the shirt advertised just the few benefits that that disorder gives you and called it not a disorder. Um, but neglected to mention all the negative side effects of said disorder and everything. Which kind of made me think of video games because it's like that is one way to market them. Yeah, it looks like in this game you get flaws, but you also get the perks to go with it. So it's like, hmm, a bit weird. Um, status, reverse intruder definitions. I don't really want to. Sure. Might as well get some help where we can get it. Um, I already lose you. Hello, old dead people. What's through here then? Oh, that's right. I need 150. I need to be a dedicated hacker. Hey, no one should have to go like that. This like looks what? exceedingly painful. What? They just, they just look like all the other dead people? Did I miss something special? No? Okay. I feel like I'm missing something based on the way they're talking about it. See all the people up there moving around and walking. Well, that is one hell of a giant gun they have on the ceiling back there. What the hell is that? Just chilling in a Marauder bar? Vending machine discovered. They got any fat loots? They never have fat loots. Corrosion modification. Mark three. What's up, guys? You've just been electrified. Who are you, my friend? Or oh, where are you taking fire from? Oh, that was friendly. Okay. I did not see more enemies. I'm guessing behind the bar and to the left of the room. There are you guys. It's just a dead eye, too. Where's my next tier dead eye? Really not a big fan of supporting your non assault rifle users. Is considered long guns too? I guess technically all long guns. Well, better than nothing, I guess, but still not ideal. Oh, hey, nice little combo the bracelet around the thing. Please don't be stuttering or dropping frames, game. It doesn't look like it. I had to limit my FPS to 60. Stop that crap. Marana crack shot. I'm gonna put him in fear mode real quick. Just gonna kill y'all. He's a piece of lemon squeezy. Oh, the game feels so much less smooth being limited to 60. I don't know why in their settings it's literally like, um, you can have like 120, 130, 135, 140, 145, and it's like these five five FPS increments. Then when it comes to it goes to 120 to 60. There's no in between. There's no like 90. There's no like 100. It's just a flat 60. The game feels so choppy for me now. But here I am just complaining. Um, yeah, the game doesn't seem to really know how to handle 60 FPS either. It's stuttering and tearing for me. Oh boy, game. Um, you can never just work. 
Got more things back here. I keep just dodging a terminal in here, right? Yeah. I don't want to read it as I complain. Did loot the crack shot. Did we loot everything on the bar? Was there anything on the bar? Yeah, this guy was drinking some stuff. What you got, console? Instructions. Mandated by OCI Cerebral Committee. Feeling lethargic after a long day of creative incubation. Having trouble shooting down the bird of inspiration. Let Spacer's Choice help you steady your aim. A selection of company approved lib libations available for purchase. Medicate your creative paralysis with Spacer's Choice Zero G Brew. Addendum. All purchases will be deducted from your pay. Spacer's Choice Zero G Brew. Officially slogan TV determined. Okay. Hack open last thing. Visitor's log. Compufilid. Trouble deciding on the front of the new development letterhead. Order Zero G Brew. Wyatt. Wrote 12 good words today, but can't figure out what order they should be in. Order 3, Zero G Brew. North of Decon. Brainstorming ideals for new flavors of Saltuna. Order Zero G Brew. Huh. Kevin is still having trouble deciding on a font. Ordered. That's not relevant in any way, shape, or form, right? Yeah, like why why did I need to read that? Whatever game. Uh I don't think I actually came up on stage and looted. No, 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 don't get stuck. I know I did some stupid stuff there. It worked out. Ultra carbine. Yeah, I don't get I mean I know the charge up on that thing is insane. Why does my notes have to be at you right now? Doesn't itch all morning. The second I start recording, face gets all itchy. Um, security notice. By the order of Lawrence Goodfellow, auditorium projector room must remain sealed until further notice. Please answer any inquiries by visiting auditors with the, the following pre approved message. Mr. Goodfellow is excited to inform you that our projector room is undergoing upgrades in preparation for our grand quarterly report presentation. We thank you for your patience. Please return to the reception desk and request a complimentary bottle of Zero G. Okay, on auditing. Dear sir or and or madam, if you are reading this memo, you are designated concierge of this auditorium. Please commit the following message to memory when adding, when guiding auditors along your tour of office. What is an auditorium? Spacer's Choice Manual of Definition describes an auditorium as a place where auditing takes place. Here you will enjoy the... Am I saying all this right? Auditorium? Yeah. It's a funny play on words. Here you are enjoying all the familiar low-cost, low-budget, friendly amenities that make Spacer's Choice a leading brand in the affordable entertainment. Satisfy your posture in your semi-reclining chairs. Enjoy a moderate cold bottle of Zero G Brew. Relax as you enjoy the special presentation. A Project Organ's quality review brought to you by the Office of Creative Incubation. <laughs> Can't win. Oh, that's so itchy. Bah. No report this quarter. Everyone, I'm going to be blunt because I want you to understand the gravity of the situation. Someone or several someone sabotaged our quarterly reports. They're all gone. Irreparably damaged and cerebral community putting their heads together to come up with a solution. We hope you have benefit. We hope you have one before our auditors arrive. In the meantime, here's what I need you all to do. <laughs> do not, under any circumstance, talk about the sabotage to anyone outside our office. We need to soften the language. Studies show that repeated use of the word sabotage can in do incite sabotage in people who lack moral fiber. I am not taking any chances. I need you all to come up with an alternative way of describing sabotage. Something like the incident, but not too so obvious. The walls. We received all your suggestions. After much deliberation, the Cerebral Company has anonymously voted to refer to the sabotage incident as the incident. Okay then, so that is now the incident in all references and other things. I want to like rip out the inside of my nose. Yep, almost, almost helps my nose. Going to be like a banjo. That's what I was doing. I don't know. It's just random sounds. Um, we already kind of looted this room when I ran through it the first time. 
not like thoroughly enough for my own liking. Didn't loot the drone. Pretty little tent. This guy had nothing on him, which is surprising that a Colossus had nothing on him. But maybe he was just one of the dumb brutes. No one would give him anything. Um, still locked. Scratch my nose off. Mag packs, some more stuff. Empty bin. Why is this bin empty? Who puts giant bins that are empty? No one likes giant empty bins. Oh, wow. I think this screen's taller than my entire shop back home. I think so too. Pretty big screen, not gonna lie. About your test subjects, I assume you're trying new formulations on humans, correct? Where did they come from, Dr. Ambrose? <clears throat> they come from Tartarus, don't they? They do. Why the reluctance? Providing life-affirming employment to the indigent, the criminal, the criminally indigent? Well, that's a social good, don't you agree? <clears throat> I have a staff meeting to attend. Excuse me. She's questioning the ethics of using prisoners as test subjects. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, what a surprise here. A corporation doing incredibly unethical things. Stuttering up there. Just stuttering on my screen, which is fine. Um, ooh, nice little room we got down here. Modification stations, parts. Fancy hammer. Like a little halfway point to sell, loot, save, store up. Um, what are you selling? Please just stay on the screen. <sighs> Should modify another one of those for her, but I just can't bring myself to do it. Magnum, plus 50% mag size. Yes, we take a drain of time. That's the maintenance room. Um, why isn't this working? I know why it's not working. It's because I disabled Windows game bar, so I can't see FPS in this game. But for some weird reason, the game bar is still up, even though it's disabled. Just gonna assume you're friendly now because I hacked you. I'm gonna assume you're why a lot of these guys are dead. A predetermined layout. Um, I'll let you all. Give me all the stuffs. One of these days you're gonna have something I want to buy. 67. What are you guys wearing? I know it's high. 94. Way higher. I get that it's a DLC. I get that it's just like tacked on and it's not like a continuation of the endgame story. Hey Marauders, what's up? You've been electrified. <laughs> but the lack of upgrades. Like I get I don't even get it, because it's like I don't know. Because what do you think? Your primary clientele is going to be people who have already beaten the game. It's a DLC. So you should make it continual from the end, but you made the end of this game the end of the game. It's still the end of the game. You made the experience better for people that show up later. But, like, I had to load a save that was before the final missions just to play through the DLC. It's like a weird design choice in my mind of open world game expansion packs. It seems kind of like it was limited, not thought through in the beginning development stages. Could be wrong, though. The game's still amazing. 
Don't get me wrong, we're just small talking about their design decisions. Ooh, we're stunned, but Sean. Look at this wide brimmed cowboy hat. Fancy. Not gonna wear it. We're out here fighting, doing the shooting and combats and stuff. They're sitting here giving me cowboy hats. Mm. This just takes me back out in the death hallway. Takes me back to you. You're blocked, you're blocked. This was Ken Confirm Laboratories. This guy was just staring at the wall. All kinds of water damage here. Ch -ch -ch. What is running the water plants and water pressure? Look how many leaking pipes there are everywhere. The water pressure's gotta be shit. This is a whole bunch of dead things. What the heck happened here? Medical sentry. It's all because I hacked that console that everyone's just dead. Um, okay then. He's dead now, whatever the heck he was thinking. I don't think the robot was thinking, but that's kind of the deal with robots, is the not thinking thing. Gee, uh, gonna be so much random shit all over this table, I feel it now. High society cigarettes, no security cards, unfortunately. Oof, I'm getting some super stubs. But, either way, everyone, we're out of time for this episode. I really do appreciate y'all stopping by and checking it out. Uh, do all the YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification, watch all the content front to back, check out my Twitch stream, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Dig fig out! Hmm, this frame limiting thing. I've got to figure this out. Game just runs like poo. Poopity poo poo. It was, I praised this game for how well it ran, too. We'll figure it out, though.